You can see he's scratched. Parked in front of her Steamboat Springs home. What do you think? Jessica Scroble's car doesn't look bad on the yeah. outside. Do you notice that? But inside? It is completely totaled on the inside. It's ripped, torn, and other things. Scat. You just don't want to mention. There's some scat. There's some urination. And all of it? He went door, 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 door. The work of one bear that got stuck inside after Jessica left the doors unlocked. There's a bear in my car. I could hear him trying to open it up. By the time police scared that bear away, the damage was done. It can do a lot of damage. This time of year, parks and wildlife officers like Steve Zanominacek get lots of bear calls. A lot of bear calls coming in right now. But this spring, he says he's seen a lot of bears in cars. Probably a dozen over the last two and a half weeks. And when it comes to cars, bears seem to like a certain brand, often getting into Subarus, likely because they can handle this design of door handle. Probably the easier handles for a bear to get a hold of. But bears can get into just about any car. Also this week, the Aspen Police Department posted pics on their Facebook page showing damage to this car left unlocked. It's why wildlife officers want people to start locking their doors. We want people to be very diligent about removing any food sources from their vehicles and then locking the doors. Advice Jessica says she was just given the other day. And they were telling me about how all the bears were getting in the car door. And you can bet she's now going to start doing. In Steamboat Springs, Matt Renew. I'll lock my car doors from now on. Nine News Mountain Newsroom.